backstage at the theatre and uh, Richard Dawkins has just been talking to a packed house about his book about the magic of reality. Was it an audience that knew you from something else or does your message of reality is more exciting than anything else get through? What was the audience like? It was a, a very good audience indeed. It was a great pleasure to be here because my family's been Chippy Norton for a very, very long time. Uh, and um, so it was nice to be here. It's a lovely town. The audience was terrific and the questions were very interesting. So what's the basis of this book? Because this Magic of Reality, it's the first time you've written for younger readers, isn't it? I was aiming at a, about 12, uh, but actually I think it spreads out both ways quite a long. I hope to all adult ages as well. It's about science generally. And so each chapter is about a different aspect of science. Each chapter is a, it sort of couldn't be read on its own, really. Like, what is the sun? What is an earthquake? What is a rainbow? Uh, and it begins with myths about the subject. And then the, the last part of the chapter, the dominant part of the chapter, is the scientific, the true answer to the question. Yes. Now, when you're writing for children, isn't it quite difficult to make sure that you pitch it right so that you're not seen to be patronising or you're underestimating? Did you road test it on real children? A bit, yes. Uh, and um, it, it was got a pretty favourable reception from real children. Um, in some cases, with adult help, so the younger children uh, get guided through it by, in this case, a teacher, but, uh, but one, one would hope with their parents. It's, it's a book that I hope that parents with younger children might actually read to them, pausing to explain things as they go. And um, older children, teenagers, and indeed adults, I hope, would enjoy reading for themselves. And what's the message? What's, what would you like people to think at the end? I want them to understand uh, that science is magical, that science is beautiful, uh, because it's true. And because the very fact that it is true is remarkable. I mean, it is a totally remarkable fact that we have come into being on this planet through the laws of physics acting through this extraordinary process called evolution by natural selection. And, and it has produced creatures capable of, well, flying and swimming and jumping and digging and swinging through the trees and capable of thinking and writing and reading and understanding. The, some science writers now mourn the passing of enlightenment. Even the phrase endarkenment is, has been banded around. Are you fighting for still the values of enlightenment, the values of what you seem to be true? Of course. And, and I mean, and I think it, I don't see it as a, a losing battle. I mean, I think the, 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 the forces of endarkenment um, may be in, indulging in their death throes and maybe lashing out in their death throes, but um, history is not on their side. So you're an optimist? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Richard Dawkins, thanks very much. Thank you very much, David. <laughs>